virtual rifle systems. Let's talk about HP 3D printed controller connectors. The help over there is giving me looks. She's interfering with video. Anyways, HP 3D printed controller connectors. We're rolling with these. So if you order now, if you're ordering now, this is what you're ordering. Um, and the whole concept of universality, um, in a previous video, I kind of talked about that, and uh, it might have confused the waters a little bit, and I kind of had changed my approach with it myself. And I think it, it, the universal aspect of them is more for me at this point from an assembly standpoint. Um, you really won't, it really doesn't affect the end user. Um, but what it means for me, that is the uni center. So all the controller uh, connectors use that except for the Vive. The Vive is its own creature. But there we're magnetically connected. We have the index main hand. This will slide here, locking the magnets in place. So what this allows me to do is not have to glue these magnets. It's, it's very time consuming gluing the magnets. Um, so now they're, they're locked in place by sliding this piece in. Same thing with the index. It's a little bit different, but I've got a plate here. Slides in place. You drive the screw home here. Now, and all this is done with, this doesn't have in here, but you can see it from there possibly. You see that brass insert. All these have brass inserts. Same with the index. Before it was this little hex screw. And if you watched that previous video, kind of talk about it, you have to balance, you, you got to hold your controller and then you got to hold these on there and hold that. You don't have to do that anymore. It's much easier. Um, these are pressed into the plastic. So all you have to do is put this in place and screw it down. But that's the index right put together. So again, this universality is really for me, you really won't have to deal with changing this out. It just makes it easier for me when putting these things together. Um, if you need to take the magnets out, you now have access to the magnets and they're no longer blue. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I could say that I, I do want to point out we're getting ready to order another um, bulk, I guess you'd say, of rifles. And because of the timing and just coordination, it was easier just to go with one set of magnets. So the polarity is the same. That is different than it was for the Mark II Bravo. Those magnets were opposing. So if I came up fat or thin when I put my controllers, the magnets would force it into the correct position. Well, now, since these magnets are the same, these magnets, if I come in short, it's going gonna, it's gonna to grab that first magnet, not force it off. So that's going to change on the new, um, coming up on the new order. So that might give you one reason to access these magnets. But like I said, univer the universalness, is that, is that correct, universalness? Um, that really pertains to me and assembly, not to use the end user. Um, but we have made it easier. Two screws, don't have to hold anything. I don't have a rift or, yeah, a CB1 rift, uh, but it's similar. It's similar to this when you saw the Quest. Uh, the offhand on the Quest hasn't changed much, just very similar. Um, there might be an issue with having to glue those. When you have the controller on here, I haven't found a good way unless I tape them or something for shipping, but I haven't found. Once you have, if you have the controller in place, those magnets won't come out. But if the magnets out there, they could rock and there's enough space to come out. So I'm trying to think of a good solution for that for now. But not important. I'm getting looks from the help saying, cut it, cut it off. No, so, I'm just listening to see what you're saying. See if I made any mistakes. That's all I got. Stay healthy, stay safe, have a happy day. Peace.